I'm trying to figure out here, out of all of these credit cards I have, which one give the best reward points? Now, I know I looked it up. This one, one has the Go Rewards, and I have City that I really never use. But some of you guys out there, I'm putting those cards away. Some of you guys out there are like, what are the best credit cards? Because we know we use credit cards to raise our credit score, the utilization of our credit, but paying them off at the end of 30 days so it don't occur that interest. I know you saw a video that I did about Fluck credit cards, right? Because a lot of times people get totally out of hand and don't know how to handle them. But for you, who are very meticulous with their money, who are careful with their money, who does not use credit cards as an extension as wealth, this video is for you. Those credit cards, those two revolving accounts that the credit agencies think that you should have in order to raise your credit score to show that credit utilization. It also helps to build your credit if you are a person who just getting into credit cards or you're young and you're just starting off on your own. So here's some credit cards I did some research on. Excuse me as I look down, I wrote some notes here. The first card, which a lot of people are calling this like the most versatile card. First of all, I don't like paying nobody for nothing, but they said that the reward points will actually pay it for itself. So without further ado, we're talking about the Chase Sapphire Preferred card, okay? And I'm just gonna give you the nuggets here, okay? The reward summary gives you two times the points on travel and restaurants worldwide, and one times the points on other purchases. Redeem for travel gift cards, statement credits, and e-deposits. The sign up bonus is 50,000, okay? 50,000 bonus points when you sign up. But, but, the, the kicker here is you have to spend $4,000 in the first three months of you open the account. Okay, some of you may spend that much, so maybe this is a good call, but let me get to the point here. So that's $625 towards your travel, okay? But here are the perks. No blackout dates on travel restrictions, 25% more value when you book travel through Chase Ultimate Rewards, and one-for-one -one point transfer to leading airline and hotel loyalty programs. Here's the kicker, annual fee, annual fee, $95 a year, but the first year can be waived. So I'm gonna spend $100 a year basically, right? We're rounding up, $100 basically to hold your freaking credit card for you to give me points, but I have to pay 100. Now some of you say, what well, I balance out with all the bonus points, et cetera, et cetera. I'm moving on. I don't like that card. You may like it. The next card is the Discover card or Discover It, okay? Reward summary. You get 5% cash back at Amazon and Target, 1% on all other purchases. Redeemed for statement credits, e-deposit, gift cards, charitable donations. Sign up bonus, first year cash back match. What does that mean? That means that you can turn $150 into $300 with cash back. Get a dollar for dollar match of all your cash back earned at the end of your first year automatically. Annual fee, zero. Should I say more? Perks include 0% into APR on purchasing and balances transfer for 14 months, dollar for dollar cash back match at the end of your first year, and then free FICO credit score. Free FICO credit score. So if you wanna get a credit card, you're in the market, this is a good contender. This is a good contender. No annual fee, free FICO credit score. Moving right along. Now, I actually have this card, so let's see what they say about all the research I put into this. Let's see. This is the Capital One Venture card, okay? Capital One Venture card. Reward summary, unlimited two times miles per dollar. You get two times the points, miles per dollar, and that's on flights, because you know when you travel a lot, this card is really good, and you get unlimited. And they say you want to redeem this card for a travel statement, travel book through CapitalOne.com, gift cards, and more. Sign up bonus. 40,000 miles, when you sign up, 40,000 miles. Enjoy a one-time bonus of 40,000 miles once you spend $3,000 on a purchase within three months from account opening equal to $400 in travel. Now, granted, you can pay your bills with this, which will equal that amount. So look at that. Annual fee, 0% intro for the first year and $59 after that. Now, I must got into it prior to this fee. I don't pay an annual fee. I don't pay an annual fee at all, okay? I might want to check in case they change it on me, just like Netflix went up the price for $10 instead of eight, okay? Yeah. Perks include complimentary concert service, 
zero dollars foreign transaction fees, all right, because you're traveling a lot, think about that, extended warranty protection for purchases, okay? Moving right along, the Chase Freedom Visa Reward Summary, 5% cash back in bonus categories, up to 1,500 in combined purchases, unlimited 1% cash back on other purchases, and then they basically say this is simply a good car for cash back. Your sign up bonus is $150. So basically you earn $150 bonus after you spend $500 on purchases in the first three months from account opening, okay? Then the annual fee is zero. So those perks include 0% APR on purchases and balance transfer for the first 15 months. Then you also have extended warranty and purchase protection. All right, moving right along, guys. The American Express Preferred Card. The American Express Preferred Card. Reward summary, 6% cash back at U.S. supermarkets, up to $6,000 and then 1%. You want, if I, I can break that down. So basically it's saying 6% uh, cash back at U.S. supermarkets, um, $6,000 per year. Then 3% cash back at U.S. gas stations and at a select U.S. department stores, 1% cash back on purchases, okay? And of course, they always like to throw in that terms will apply. <laughs> Sign up bonus is $200. So $200 statement credit after you spend $1,000 in purchasing on your cart within the first three months. Now, $1,000 ain't nothing to spend in three months, guys, and you know it just by doing your bills. Here's the kicker, all right? Annual fee. $95, and I, I, I couldn't find anything that said they would waive it like the other card. $95 to have their credit card. Boop, you off the list. Next, the Barclave Arrival Plus card. Okay, the Barclave Arrival Plus card. Reward summary, two-time miles on all purchases. When they talk about miles, guys, they're talking about airplane miles, okay? Because my venture card, I get all those miles and points back when I use it to buy tickets and blah, 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 okay? When I, even when I use it for regular purchases, so let me get that correct. Even when I do regular purchases, I still get miles on my venture card. And they basically saying, redeem this card for travel, cashback statement gifts, and merchandises. Sign up bonus, 40,000 miles. Enjoy 40,000 bonus miles after you spend 3,000 on purchases in the first 90 days. That's not enough to redeem for a $400 travel statement credit to an eligible travel purchase. That's not bad. Once again, that amount is not a lot of money, guys. You know, $3,000, some of you spend twice as much as that when you pay your bills. Not everybody, okay? Annual fee. Now, the annual fee can be waived the first year, but after that, you won't have to pay $89 damn dollars, okay? I know the other one's 95, but this is ridiculous. But here's some of the perks. Use this card as much as possible because you'll earn unlimited two times the points on any type of purchases. So any type of purchase, two times the points. Strategize your card, use right off the bat. If you spend $3,000 in the first three months, you'll earn 40,000 bonus miles. We went over that. Take advantage of the World Elite MasterCard benefits like seating upgrades and in-flight purchase dis discounts with certain airlines. Excuse me, mouth kind of dry. <laughs> okay. Discover again, all right? This is another Discover It, but this is Discover It Miles card, okay? Discover It Miles card. Reward summary, unlimited 1.5 times the miles on every purchase, right? So every time you spend a dollar, you get one times and a half the points for it. Then they say, basically you redeem this for travel. Then sign up bonus, you get mile for mile match. What are we talking about? Discover claims they will match the miles you earn at the end of your first year, for example, if you earn 30,000 miles, you'll get 60,000 miles, okay? The reason why I say I cl it claim, don't think I'm, they're doing something funky here. I just use that term. But they're going to give you 30,000 miles, guys, if you spent 30, you know, if you accumulated 30,000 miles, they're going to give you 30,000 miles. That's a pretty good deal, okay? That's not bad at all. And then the annual fee is zero. The annual fee is zero. Perks include 0%. Intro APR on purchase for 14 months. So basically he's saying on the purchases, and I know I've been saying it the whole video, but catch this. So when they say 0% APR, they're not going to charge you interest. But if you notice, I am not naming the interest on the cards. You're going to have to do a little bit of research for yourself. I didn't want to make this video that long, okay? So 0% APR on purchase for the 14 months. And then they also give you free FICO credit scores 
on a monthly statements and online. So monthly statements and online, you can check your FICO score, all right? So Ross World, there's many of cards out there. I gave you just a little bit of the information that I researched for you guys to go out. If you're looking for a credit card, consider some of them or find ones that's way better than that. But credit cards are a good thing, okay? If you know how to use them correctly, I repeat, use them correctly and do not abuse them or you can get into a lot of trouble. This is Ross World where some of us are fucking credit cards. Fuck those credit cards, okay? That's what the L, fuck. Some of us are doing that. But some of us who have the discipline, we have the credit scores, and we have the income to use them properly and how they should be used so you can get cash back, rewards, and miles to get a bunch of free stuff from all these financial institutions that's really trying to rob you. I'm out.